God, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of my favorite places to go. Going to Notre Dame was just refreshing again and reminding me I am in France, I am in this whole new culture, and I am pretty excited about it. The architecture outside of the building um, was just so detailed. Uh, There's just so much um, of hell and heaven in it. I felt a little medieval. Right? <laughs> well, I was jet lagged out of my mind and was not like really happy <laughs> to be out there. I just want to go to bed. The walk there kind of uh, you got the, your first like feel for what Paris is going to be like, and it's just like wow, this city is two thousand years old. I love cathedrals. There's so much passion put into the building and. It takes hundreds of years and it's just so beautiful and you can see like people pour their souls into it. What was great was Dr. Bacconi's explanation of all the architecture around it and all the sculptures and that was, that was really neat. That actually was like really magical. To see a mass being performed and to hear him singing and, and, and to be walking around and seeing all the relics and the candles, being in that moment was really cool. So after our first full day, and we just woke up. Are you recording or taking still? So did you get a good night's sleep, Brett? Slept very well. How bad did I snore? Probably as bad as me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. This guy comes in last night and says, yeah, man, we were looking for Van Morrison's grave. And I was like, oh. I was like you mean Van Morrison? Good morning, Meg. Good morning. Did you sleep well? I could have slept on I love Musée d'Orsay. It's like my favorite museum in the whole world. Really? But yeah, just because I'm like obsessed with impressionist art. I hate guided tours. If it's something I care about, I want to f examine it and figure it out and look at it for myself. I felt like we were, we stayed there a little bit too long. Musée d'Orsay was one of my favorites. I think just because it was my first kind of introduction to Holy Crap for in France. The clock was my favorite. I have about 10,000 pictures of that thing. And uh, what's in that, Joe? Uh, <laughs> tequila, gin, and vodka. Tequila, gin, and vodka. That's your T, G, and V. Very nice. Josh Hamilton of WellThat'sCool.com. Hey, if you do a good job, you can make it like a video resume. Like, this is my At the record. Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. Donna, they're used to 
drunk on the floor. Yeah, the tower was just a classic. You have to go. It was fun. I've always been afraid of heights my entire childhood. The view was incredible. Um, I actually got a couple pictures leaning my head out out in front of the um, in front of the little fence and taking pictures down. It looked like I was floating on top of me, staring straight down. But it was it was great. Um, we got separated from the group, so we decided to run down the stairs of the Eiffel Tower. And let me tell you, there are a lot of stairs in the Eiffel Tower. Walking back down all the stairs, and that was tiring, but kind of fun. I think I saw about two proposals, or every other couple was making out. So, <laughs> <laughs> but the the view is um, like indescribable. It was like it was almost breathtaking. We went to the Eiffel Tower today. Uh, we also went to the Musée d'Orsay, and then we split up and did some shopping. It was a really long day. Au revoir pour maintenant.